Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you a few easy ways on how to fix a low Wi-Fi signal on Windows 11 in no time. But before we dive in into any solutions, always make sure that you're close enough to your Wi-Fi router. Because if you find yourself a few meters more apart from the Wi-Fi router, then obviously your Wi-Fi signal will not be so great on your laptop. Otherwise, the first solution that you should always take in consideration is to troubleshoot the network adapter. Now, to do this, make sure to click on the start button and select the settings icon, and then on the left pane, click on system, and afterwards on the right side, scroll down until you find the troubleshoot category and click on it. Now in here, click on other troubleshooters, and afterwards, scroll down until you find the network adapter category and click on the run button next to it. In here, select all network adapters and then click on next to have it diagnosed by Windows. Now wait until any issues are discovered and afterwards close these windows, restart your computer and check if the problem still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to update the network drivers. Now to do this, right click the Windows button, select Device Manager from the list of options. Now in the Device Manager window, make sure to expand the network adapters and then right click on the problematic device and select the Update Driver option. In here, just click on Browse my computer for drivers, then select the option called Let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer. Make sure to select the latest option and then click on next and wait until the driver will be reinstalled. You can then close this window, restart your computer and check if the issue still persists. Moving on, another useful solution is to prevent the Wi-Fi adapter from turning off. Now to do this, press the Windows button, then simply type control panel and select it from the search results. In here, click on network and sharing center and afterwards select your Wi-Fi connection. Moving on, you have to click on Properties in the next window and afterwards Configure in the following window. In here, just click the Power Management tab and the last thing you have to do is to make sure that the box next to allow the computer to turn off this device to save power is unchecked. Afterwards, just press on OK, close these windows and restart your computer to check if the problem still persists. And lastly, another useful solution is to reinstall the network drivers. Now to do this, right click the Windows button, select Device Manager from the list of options and in the next window, make sure to expand network adapters, right click the problematic device and select the uninstall device option. Now the next step is to tick the box next to attempt to remove the driver for this device and confirm by pressing on the uninstall button. Now after the driver has been uninstalled, you can restart the computer and you'll see that Windows will automatically attempt to reinstall the drivers. Then you can check if the problem still persists. Another great method is to use DriverFix which is a free updater application for Windows. So basically DriverFix scans your whole system and then searches the web for the most recent drivers. And from there on you can choose to update the drivers you need manually or all at once if you upgrade to the Pro version. So make sure to check it out and get it for free by accessing the link in the description below. And that's it, super simple, isn't it? Of course, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.